Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com, and today we're going to do a crash review on the all-new Alpine Stars GP Tech V3 one-piece suit. Okay, well, there you go. You saw the crash. That was a pretty good one, right? Unfortunately, that was our first riding day of the year. It was the last lap of the last <laughs> session on the first day. The kid was out there on his R3. He was putting down some pretty nice lap times, especially for a track day. They were faster than what he rode when he raced with Weir at the GNF, and he ended up getting a surprise front-end tuck. We were fighting a little chatter all day, and I did ask him to back off, right? I'm like, ride it to the point of the chatter, and let's hold off there because I don't have anything here to deal with it today, okay? Uh, you know, 14-year-olds, they don't always listen to their dad. It is what it is. And he had himself a pretty big crash. New year, the kid had on a new suit, new helmet, new boots, new gloves, the whole nine. The kid grew a whole bunch. He's like 5'9", now 150-some pounds. Last year, we had him in the Alpine Stars missile suit. That suit is the entry-level Tech Air compatible suit from Alpine Stars. And that did a great job for him. He, he ended up with, you know, more than one crash on it and it protected him every time. For this year, I decided to step it up a notch and put him in the all-new GP Tech V3 suit. And if you look back to our review in this suit, I was really high on it. I really liked what they did. It was a, a serious evolution of that previous version with dramatic improvements. I was able, fortunately, to keep his Tech Air race vest. That's still in here, okay? He had a deployment, of course. It worked like magic again. I mean, that was a pretty big crash with some pretty serious tumbling. The kid walked away. He was able to go out there and ride the next day with confidence and actually go faster than he did on the first day when he wadded up the R3. So super happy about that. He's in this gear to keep him safe. I handpicked this stuff, right? This is what I do for a living. And my wife and I, his safety is really important to us. And for that reason, we're investing in the things that we feel have the greatest opportunity to protect our son when he's out there on the track because as you're trying to learn how to go faster, sometimes things happen and it's important that you're protected. So reviewing the suit itself right now. Heavy abrasion here on the arm. Barber's a very wide track. It's 45 feet wide everywhere. So when he lost it right there at the apex of the final corner coming out of the straightaway, I happen to be getting a video on the phone. We showed you that. We had some on-bike footage from our AIM Solo DL. I'm going to show you that as well, right? So that is at least 45 feet minimum on the pavement while he's sliding. Right here, you have your outer layer. You have, if you see that crosshatch pattern, they have added in the key impact areas of the suit. This is like a Kevlar-based woven fabric. There's a layer of that that's bonded to the outer layer of the suit. And then here, in this particular area, in the form of the suit, this is, right, a lot of impact and abrasion right here on low side crashes and even high sides is going to happen in this area. Got that reinforcement here, which didn't get touched. But behind this now, you still have an additional layer of leather on top of that Kevlar. So there's a lot of protection there left. This suit is good to go. No need for repair or replacement at this time. The suit also includes, right, that same Kevlar base fabric. You can see the crosshatch here, right, in the hip area where this was on the ground sliding around. It wore like iron. I'm super happy with the performance of the suit. It did a great job. This one also includes the hip armor, which is right there in this spot here. The kid walked away from it with just minimal soreness, which was great. The airbag. If you are able to afford the airbag, I feel like it is the level best investment when it comes to safety on the track. I feel a lot better as a parent when the kid's out there riding in it. I use it myself, right? I think it makes all the difference in the world when you crash. It can be the difference between injury and just being disappointed that your bike is smashed up and walking away. How much do I believe in it? His size small airbag, right? Remember all the sizes, extra small up to extra large, they have two available deployments. The double X can only deploy once as it needs to use both canisters to inflate 
the vest. The vest is a little bit larger than in the other models. So now he has one deployment left. For example, this weekend, we're going for our, our first race weekend of the year, right? I can't believe I'm saying that, and it's June, right? It's going to be middle of June at Nelson Ledges with Wira. We're really excited. So now that leaves me with the decision. Do I send this thing out for repair and repack while there's still one charge in it so we can have two available? I feel like if you're crossing over two airbag deployments in a weekend, maybe you need to pump the brakes and take a breath, and maybe you shouldn't be going back out. But let's face it, things can happen. You can have a simple, tiny little low side. You can get bumped off the track by another rider, not even really your mistake. Next thing you know, you have a deployment. And then I would have to make the decision, do I choose to put him out there without an available airbag deployment or not? So what I've decided to do is invest a little further. And please understand, I don't get these for free. Nobody's sending me these because we sell stuff and we do these videos. I have to pay them. Yes, I, I get it dealer cost, which is nice. I'm saving a few bucks but still in the end, it represents a very significant benefit. So what I've decided to do for this season is I just, I bought them and charged up a second one so that now we have always available charges and I never have to send the kid out on track unprotected. There was one circumstance where, you know, we, we did have to do that at the GNF. He had went through all the charges in the airbag, unfortunately, in a, a four day weekend. There was some rain involved too, which really complicates the situation. And there was one crash that happened without an airbag, you know, and I thought about that when he was out there. Reality is a lot of people ride and crash without it, and I've ride and, ridden and crashed without it plenty of times, gotten hurt, and I've gotten lucky. So moving forward, a little additional investment buys me a bigger peace of mind, and that is exactly how much I believe in that technology. Any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. The Tech Air system, right, especially the Tech Air race, I have a lot of experience with it. Right, Max has now a total of four deployments. The kid has a lot of experience and he'd be happy to talk to you about how great of a job it's done for him.